My name is Frank Gatorblue, Commissioner of Education here in New Hampshire. We're at Spalding High School this morning where we're starting an exploratory of three of our very important summer school nutrition programs that are really very different across the state. This is our takeout version of school days, lunch trays, and gourmets. I hope you'll join us. Okay, so we're gonna pack up some lunches for the kids we today, are. right? So we got some sun butter, so I'm gonna get some sun butter sandwiches. Maybe we'll throw in a little fruit yes. and maybe some carrot sticks. I understand sure. they're gonna so get as well. Sure, so sun butter and jelly on wheat bread okay. with um, our fruit cup, carrot sticks, and probably some ranch to dip in. Oh, ranch dip, that sounds good actually. I'm sorry, I'd like to do that myself. Kids yeah. love that. They do Anything like it, they and they carrots are better than chips in yes, the they are. ranch dressing, they do, aren't they? do um, a lot of fresh, fruits and vegetables here. We try and um, do that, you know, once a day. But it's kind of hard to find things that the kids will eat, isn't it? It is hard to find things that they'll eat, and it is hard to find things that pack well. That um, as well, right? Because these have to get transported around, right? Right. So we have 21 sites. Um, last year we did 29,600 meals. Wow. They all came out of that's this a lot location. Of that's a lot of sun butter. It's a lot of sun butter. It's a lot of packing. It's a lot of coolers. Um, so as you can imagine, certain fruits we have to pack the day before. Right. We have to wash them. They don't get squashed. Bananas, but if grapes. They get all icky. Then the kids they don't want to eat them. Anyways, they don't right? eat them. Um, okay. So it is kind of checks and balances what's going to work and what kind of lunches will work with one another. Okay. So now we got a whole bunch of stuff here. Now what is all this? We like, do. Where does this come from? This is our dry um, storage. Food comes in and out twice a week. We get okay. orders twice a week. Um, we buy from U.S. Foods in Seabrook. Okay. Um, they do a phenomenal job delivering food to us, both here and at our location in Dover. Um, so getting a lot of donations of food? We don't. We well, the donations that we get, we turn back out to the kids. Okay. We don't use them as part of our meals. Got it. So we purchase all of the food that goes into the meals. Okay. Um, if we get cereal donations, fruit donations, we get Panera bread donations. We repackage those and just take them to the sites and then the kids can pick and take, take it home, home with them want. if they want. Yep. Okay, great. Um, so we don't use that um, that way. But in here we have all of our dry goods, like you saw our sun butter, some fruit cups. Little salsa. We do some trail mix that we buy in bulk and our staff will pack it. We pack it, okay. And then we box it up so that'll go out. This is new this year, so hopefully they like that. Mmm, very good. This is good. This is good, right? <laughs> I, I think the kids are going to like this. So, I hey kids, look for this. It's coming. So. And it's much better than fruit snacks. It is. I mean, it's a nice fruity dry fruit, right? It's so. dry fruit. So, um, as fast as food comes in, it goes right back out. Okay. So, this is our dry storage. So, if you come this way, I'll show you where we keep our coolers, our milk, and all of our um, frozen products. You guys have these really nice freezers that you can use. Where do these come from? We do. We partner with um, Rochester School District. Very nice. And of them. Um, they let us use Spalding Heist Kitchen the entire summer. Okay. So we have a nice big storage area for dry storage. This is where we store um, refrigeration, okay. all of our milk, all of our coolers that are packed. Um, it's kind of our holding so unit. Everything in here is yours. Everything in here belongs to us. Okay, wow. So they clean it out for us. Okay, so how are these lunch programs funded for the students? So each site has to be eligible, either um, area eligible or through the school district. Um, they have, the school has to hit over 50% pre or reduced for it to be an eligible school. And any child that comes to that site or that school and receives a meal, um, because that area is eligible, is we're able to be reimbursed. So they qualify they you to be able to qualify. prepare the breakfast, we don't prepare need the lunch their name, for these kids. We don't need their income, we don't need any sort of paperwork. Okay. Um, we serve meals on the site. If they show up at the site, you get a meal. Great. Great. All the kids all get the to have kids, a meal. Anybody. They run around yep. all morning long and then they come in for a nutritious and lunch. Very good. It sounds great. Uh, so what are we serving the kids today for lunch? So today we're doing uh, sun butter and jelly sandwiches. Sun butter sandwiches. This is going to a site that is peanut free. Okay, so great. We have but it's almost like a peanut sandwich. butter and jelly it's sandwich like that we all grew up on, right? Right. Okay, great. So we do that. That's the grain and the protein. Okay. We have carrots and vegetables. Carrots looking and good. And cups for breakfast. And fruit cup, okay. And chocolate milk for lunch. Oh, that sounds really good. The drink, yeah. And I guess that the kids are probably working up an appetite about now, like yeah, running around the camp yeah. and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, they've been doing activities. Usually they're outside all day. Yeah. But especially it's been beautiful out, so they've been outside, outside all day. Awesome. And uh, they're ready for lunch by the time we get there.
Very good. So how do we do this? So what do we got? So we take a bag. Okay. Get a bag. Yeah. Is there an order that it goes in? Yeah. We just try to put the spoon in the bottom. Okay. They get a spoon. Yeah. Then they get. And we just try to do it by weight so that nothing gets squished. Oh, so that put the milk probably goes. No, we don't even bottom. put the milk in. Put the milk in the cooler. Okay. Nothing gets squished. Carousel squish. Yeah. yeah. Put those in the bottom. They get a sun butter sandwich. Yeah. Perfect. And roll it up. Hold up. I put the meat on. No, that would be a lot of work. That would be a lot of work. So these are going to Valley Q, and how many do we need to do for Valley Q? We're doing 37. 37, 37 kids are going to be And how old are these kids that are going to be eating? These kids are elementary age, so they could be anywhere from kindergarten to sixth grade. Okay. So they're elementary school kids at a uh, summer school program okay. for um, Valley View. So it's elementary. We have a couple schools, all three schools in um, Farmington take part in our program. Okay. And um, so they go from high school all the way down to the uh, I'm guessing that it's not that easy to find food that elementary kids will eat. Right. Right. I mean, I'm going to guess cauliflower is not high on that list of things no, that no. they're clamoring for. It's not. We really try to introduce them to some, some healthy, good options for them. Okay. What is the favorite of lunches? The favorite lunches. So. Pizza bagels. Pizza bagels. It is a favorite. They make their own pizza bagels. They oh, have bagels. Cool. So they, they get a little input. Teach them how to make some food as well. Yeah. yeah. They get to, um, that we give them the bagels. We give them sauce. We give them cheese. Wow. Vegetables. We use the peppers with that so they can make their own. Like, and they put pizza. it all together. Yeah. Okay. And they put it together and they eat it just like that. Just hold it. It's one of their favorites. Another favorite is um, we do that like a munchy lunch. So it's, yeah, That's so it's fun. we give them like a, two ounces of pepperoni, two ounces of cheese, and we give them some crackers and they make their own like cheese and crackers and pepperoni. They so really try like to that. engage the kids in the Yeah, food. yeah. Right. yeah right. Get them interested in it. It's always trying to engage them and keep them interested in what We try to change things up, like we try to Increase the numbers by changing the meals, like getting rid of things that they didn't really like. Like we tried to introduce them to hummus. How that work didn't out? go over so well. Some places. I love hummus. Some places. I guess not if you're in elementary school. Oh, some yeah. of the kids did like some it. Some of the kids loved it. Some of the kids didn't. So we're trying to try to change up a few things this year. Um, get them to really engage and in want the meals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So are we gonna box these someplace or how are we gonna put them in coolers? July. So what's going on here today? Um, we have our summer school program that's going on. We have we have uh, ESY for our special education students, and we also have Title One school. We are a Title One school, and so we have a Title One program. So right. Talk to me a little bit about the partnership that we've got going on here between the school and kind of the nonprofit world. Sure. So last year was our first year doing summer meals up in Farmington. We did meals at all three schools in Farmington Rec. Um, New Hampshire Department of Education called us and asked if we would like to provide meals to Farmington because their previous sponsor was no longer providing that service. Okay. So we have an outreach office here. We do fuel electric. We have a child care center in Farmington. So we just felt it was the natural um, step to go so into that. How's the coordination working? 
Uh, so far, it seems to be working really well. I mean, we're uh, honestly we're kind of in the infant stages of working it out. Day two, day yeah. two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so, but yeah, it seems to be really good. I mean, I'm grateful that they're willing to do this. Um, you know, the kids get breakfast in the morning and then lunch again. You and know, it now. really probably helps the kids when you're trying to keep them oh. focused on what you've got them in Oh, absolutely. In. I mean, if we all know that if any, if you want a child to learn, you want to
you want to dump it in there and I just start it with my hands, I'm going to guess. Copper Canyon Camp, and I am talking with Peter today, who's got a whole bunch of kids up here that he's got to feed and entertain and take care of. And so tell me a little bit about your program. Oh, fantastic. Well, we're unique. We're a free summer camp for low-income New Hampshire children. So if a child qualifies for free or reduced lunch at school, they qualify for our program. We My do. experience is that kids get hungry kids, and they, they want to eat, right? And, and with the fresh air. Right, yeah, and they're, they're running appetites. around, they're climbing mountains, they're canoeing, they're oh, biking, yeah. all kinds of stuff, right? Their, their appetites go through the roof. Yeah. And um, and you're standing in front of a wonderful part of that is our garden. We have a, a fantastic farm to table garden where the children are going to help in the morning pick the lettuce. So they actually uh, get to grow their own food and participate do. in that. They Great experience it. for a lot of kids, right? Let's go see the camp. Let's go wander around. Sure. We'd love to. Uh, we'll start the garden and okay. go from there. Yeah. Well, welcome to the garden. Uh, we have actually three different herb beds, and a tremendous number of our herbs that we use in our cooking come from the beds. Yeah, lavender, you always have to smell it, and the oh, kids love just- it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, basil. Uh, bad breath, grab that parsley spray. Now, of course, the big ones for more for the cooking or yep. the hamburgers. And yeah, we have right? a variety of colored cherry tomatoes. Okay. We'll have black ones, we'll have red ones, we'll have yellow. Nice. And each one kind of has its own flavor. Taste. Yeah. Yeah, okay. This is uh, snow peas, again, okay. a, a wonderful treasure hunt for the children yeah. to find the snow peas. Got yeah, myself a snow pea. They're incredibly good, right? They up are up. incredibly sweet, right? And now you're part of like a USDA program? We are, we are part of the USDA Summer Food Service Program. And how does that work? Well, it's, it's coordinated through the Department of Ed Education. Right, and my you department. Talk, your department, yes. Yes. okay. Because we serve low-income children, we are reimbursed for the, the food costs. Okay. Um, with the garden here, actually, the grant to start the garden uh, came through Harvard Pilgrim. We were notified about it through the Summer Food Service Program. The Great. Cherry sent out an email saying, hey, this is up These there. These are grants that are available right. to you to apply for, and, and Harvard Pilgrim, Pilgrim kind of helped you said, get all this started here. Huh? They did, and it's been wonderful. Uh, we received a $5,000 startup grant. This is our fifth year of the garden. Okay, now we slide down. Oh, you guys are experts at this. Nice, huh? Give me high fives or yeah. high tens or whatever we're doing. Okay, you gotta do that again now. <laughs> again. Now that we know how to do it. Great, don't they? Yeah. Go ahead. Who's 
dug pears before. Okay, so then you know how to do it. So you look for a plant that's pretty mature, that's pretty well grown, and then just try and get it down near the base. And just wait a little bit to pull it out, and it will look like that. Let's see. <laughs> this looks great. Oh, a baby. So you want a bigger plant is what you're after. It's like pickers, yeah, isn't it? That's on the plant right over there. We're gonna go cook lunch. Are these babies? Nice one, huh? Here we go. Okay, so PPK, we've been in the garden. We've harvested a whole bunch of beans for bean salad, and then I think we've got some carrots. Now that might be part of dinner, so we're gonna do it here. So tell me what we're having for lunch. So for lunch, we're doing cold cut sandwiches, which is tuna over there, chicken, and then we're doing ham as well for it. Okay, great. And so how do we set this up for the kids? So we need our plates for it. We got nine, eight cabins with us. So okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on each plate, we're having three slices of ham per person. But do I like, so you just layer it out around the edge of it? So you would. Actually, you know water. what? You might have to show, okay, well, I can give it a shot, right? Like I actually oh, kind of separate shot. each of these guys. So just, yeah. is that all we're doing? Yep, just all the way around. And how many do you want? Uh, three per camper, so uh, 21. You can see that there's a whole bunch of ways that kids are getting filled up with healthy, nutritious food across the state here in New Hampshire. We've been on the coast, we've been in the middle of the state, and now we're up north. And so, I just thank all these guys for letting me join them today at camp. Can you guys say wave to the camera and say thanks for having us at camp? Thank you. Thank you. And that's going to conclude our outtake version of School Days, Lunch Trays, and Gourmet's Takeout version. <laughs> <laughs>